You cannot say Merry Christmas, not even if an alien came and he told you, you cannot even say to him and say he's just an alien, I'm never going to see him again, he's not going to tell anyone. No Merry Christmas, not from a Muslim, not from a non-Muslim, it's not part of our deen, period. It's the concept that God was born on the 25th of December. And you say Merry Christmas saying congratulations on your false religion, congratulations on your false understanding of life, Congra you are congratulating them on the most evil of shirk and kufr. And as Ibn Qayyim said, this is worse than fornication and drinking alcohol and killing someone. Because you're approving of the biggest crime ever committed by the children of Adam Shirk. And you're saying to someone, no problem, Merry Christmas to you. That's what you're saying. And nowadays, of course, we are close to Christmas. And so we see around us that the people are preparing themselves to celebrate Christmas. And with great sadness, we see that amongst us there are those who think it's a small matter. And so, not only might we congratulate them on their Christmas, on their false holiday and celebration, but we may take part in, the, in, in their holiday as well. Do you know that you and I must be offended when people say that they worship Jesus or when they say that Jesus is the Son of God? Why do our hearts not react? There are those who will say to them, Merry Christmas. What are you congratulating them on? Congratulations on the birth of your Lord? Is that acceptable to a Muslim? Are you now approving of their beliefs? By you saying that, you are approving of it. If a person were to commit every major sin, murder, committing adultery, dealing with interest, all of these sins, if a person were to do all of those major sins, they are nothing compared to the sin of congratulating and greeting the non-Muslims on their false festivals. This doesn't mean that we treat the non-Muslims in a bad way, that we deal with them unjustly. I'm not saying, and I've never said, go out and just kill them and do this to them. No, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that don't allow an, the enmity that may exist between you and a people cause you to be unjust towards them. Rather, be just. These celebrations actually harm us. Now, the West is a multicultural society. It's not like Kuwait. We're talking apples and oranges. Over there, there is no right and wrong except what the government and the people decide is right and what they decide is wrong. If tomorrow they want to make it illegal to walk down the street wearing a hat, they can do that. But we are a Muslim society. Our, our um, constitution is based on the Sharia. And as Muslims, we believe that nobody is above God in legislating. So when we allow these things to happen, we have to be very careful because if you have a celebration like Christmas, perhaps, in Christmas, what is it? It's the celebration. It's not something giving gifts and having fun and singing carols. It's actually the celebration of the birth of the Son of God, who is God himself in flesh. So God himself came and was given, was given birth by Mary to create Jesus, who is God. So when we say that this is okay, we are not respecting the religion, we are participating. And there's a difference between respect and participation. When you participate in something, you are saying that it is valid, that this is acceptable, that this is something that we as a society consider to be correct. But in the Quran, Allah says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ وَحَدْ اللَّهُ السَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدْ He is not born, he was not procreated, he is not anything. He's not the son, he's not the father, there is only one God. So when we accept these celebrations and we propagate them throughout the society, what's happening is we're accepting that. We're saying, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with saying that God has a son. And all of the, all of the celebrations of the West are rooted in things like Christianity. That's why I don't accept it here.